Yo, what is good, gang? It's Bike Life back yet again with a new tutorial type video. In this one, I'm going to be showing everybody how they can set up their own 24 7 dedicated MX Bike server. It's very easy. There is a tool that makes this very easy, which is this right here. I'm going to teach you how to use this, and I'm also going to teach you how to do this without this tool. I'm going to teach you how to do this on the Steam version of the game. And I'm going to teach you how to do it on the standalone version of the game, which is absolutely free. So to host the server, you don't need to buy a second copy of the game. You could host the server on the standalone, and you could play on your Steam account. But first things first, I'm going to show you guys how to get it done on a Steam version. If you just type it, I'm going to leave the links down below, but <clears throat> it's pretty easy to find. There's some documentation on their forums here. So it's telling you here how to start up the server. This is um, going to be used through a bat or a command line file, or you can do it with Steam. We're going to save that for a second, and we're going to come down here, and we're going to grab this code. So I'm going to copy it. And just on the desktop for now, we'll open a text document. We'll paste this stuff in, and now we can go ahead and, and edit this. So, start off with the name. This is the name that people will see on the list. So, you could set this up to whatever you want. Admin password. This password, when you see the password box in the bottom right corner when you're going to join a server, that's this password. This is for admin use. It uh, gives you admin permissions in the game. So, that's what that is right there. Just You could set that. Bandwidth, I use 4. Max ping zero no limit so basically you're just going to want to read through here the message of the day is what shows up in red when you join location it just says your location track track id the track folder name to be specific so if you're setting trial when it says track folder name you're going to go into your mods tracks and you're gonna see you know we're using trial the name of the folder is trial so right there you would simply type trial as it's shown so yeah guys that's about it you know you can scroll through get your settings set up and everything and then yeah, you're gonna want to save it specifically when you save this once you're done configuring you're gonna go to save as And you're gonna click all files and I save mine as start you can call it anything you want but this is important it must end in dot B a T like that so what this is doing is gonna create um, here it is this application that's what we just made the code is what's in the text document and it, we come up with that so next, <clears throat> to run on the Steam version, you're going to run over to your lo install location. And once you're here, you know what, I messed this up. This is just, this is the wrong thing. This is not the starter. So you could just do what I'm doing, open it back up, edit it, and save it as server. Dot I and I. This is the configuration file, not the start file. That's my bad. So you could drag it in there. I already have mine set up for New York Bike Life. So you're going to drag that in, right? I'm going to put these over to the side because this is going to be for when we show the dedicated uh, server on the standalone version. So moving on with Steam now. Once you have your server config file, in there in the install directory you can go to properties and this is where the launch options come in so we're heading back to the website we're copying the example code and now we're gonna paste it and be sure you change the parameter file to whatever you called it like that All right now if we click play on MX bikes 
this point. You're gonna see what happens. Let me just get on the right Steam account. Okay. So now at this point, if we click play and launch it, it's MX bikes with those launch options and our server file. Hold up. I'm actually on. For the Steam version, because my launch options didn't save because it was on the other on the other account. So now as you can see we have our dedicated server window. And it's running, right? So I didn't put this one to open practice, but it is running. For port forwarding, uh, I'm not gonna go over port forwarding. Eesh plenty of info out there but you do have to open uh, 54210 if you're running it on Steam so now moving on to our standalone version which is what I am using it's what I recommend using um, you can run multiple servers off just the one standalone version as I'm doing here these are our, these are our um, three New York Bike Life servers. I'm gonna leave a tutorial. I'm not gonna go over this program. I'm gonna leave a tutorial to Resolute Kraken's channel. He hooked me up uh, with help on this. I purchased the pro from him and he made sure everything was good. We got it uh we got it going because I ran into like an uncommon issue most people would not have. So anyways without the tool You'll see that it's basically going to be the same process. If we go, I have MX Bikes installed here on the program files. This is the standalone version. To get the standalone version, which is technically a demo, but you can run servers off it, you're just going to want to search up MX Bikes and go to their website. And you can just go right to downloads, guys, and download it and install it. You don't have to activate the key or nothing. Once you have that, you're good to go. So from in here, see, I actually never, um, I never set this up because I have, I am using the server manager, so I'll set it up with you guys. But basically it's like pretty much the same process we just went through. You're gonna go back to the, the server info page here right and uh, we already went over the config so you're gonna get your server configurated right by the way for this this is where you set it to bike mods category like OEM 1 OEM 1 2t such and such but anyways you get that set up and this process is a little different with this uh, start code so Let's say we're in here, right? Just as an example, I'm gonna create a text document. This would be our server.ini. And we would make another new text document. Open it up, and this will be our start.bat. So our config is called server.ini. You could select the custom port here if you want. And we're gonna go save as all files start.bat. And I'm actually I'm just gonna I'm gonna grab this quick show. This one you're gonna do all files before you save it as an INI as well. Place it.
So if you run start, same thing will happen. Right? Now keep in mind, if you want to run multiple servers, <clears throat> stop that. Stop that. All you would have to do is throw multiple configs in here, like server 2, for example. So you would have like start 2.bat, and you could run the second one with a different config, and it would open up a second window, right? So that's about it. You know, like I said, that's what the servers are like. If you want to get this program, I'll show you a little bit. If I was to add a new server, you could see that I could just configure it like this. It's much, much easier. It comes with a lot of cool features. You know, you could set what bikes you want, everything. Like player list here. So you can actually, like, I could open this up and I could ban people that are playing things. So this is great. This is helpful. So if I'm gonna leave. Yeah, these are my three servers, guys. Come check them out. Come play. I hope this helped a little bit. If you do have more questions, come jump into the Discord. Link in description, as always. I'm more than willing to help you guys out. That's about all for right now, guys.